Hello everyone, this is X-Ray Racer 1. Welcome to part 1 of the build series of the Team Associated SC10 Factory Team Short Course Truck. Uh, this is the two-wheel drive version. I went on YouTube to, uh, to look for some build series on this truck because I was buying one and all I could really find were build series on the four-wheel drive version. So. I thought to myself I might as well do a build series on the two-wheel drive version of this truck. Uh, so this, this part one will be the uh, unboxing. Um, one of the things I'll mention uh, about this truck, uh, being a factory team kit or anything like any kit, uh, high-end kit racing, racing kit like this, uh, you won't get uh, pinion gear. So one of the things that you will need to get straight away for this is a pinion gear. Now, depending on what class you'll be running in, if you're going to race or you're just going to be bashing around, um, you, the motor that you're using this will uh, determine the pinion gear that you'll need. Um, other things you'll need to complete the uh, kit, uh, steering servo, uh, receiver, battery pack, maybe a few battery packs if you're racing, um, yeah, electronic speed controller and motor and a receiver. So those are the main things that you'll need to uh, com to complete the uh, kit. Um, now I'll be honest, I'll let you know now that I've already cheated and already opened the box main, for the main reason I bought this from overseas so I wanted to make sure that everything was in the kit. I mean, it was sealed uh, when I got it, so I can only assume that it, they put everything in here. And I mean, a company like Team Associated, it'd be very unlikely that they left anything out. So I've already had a look. So this won't be a let's open it and look, have a look for the first time sort of thing. So let's get it on with the unboxing. Alrighty, first thing we have is the body. Now this is just the basic team associated body that comes with it. Um, being this being my first short course truck, um, I'm not exactly familiar with their characteristics. So, but I've heard that the standard body has a pretty b bad parachuting effect. Um, so maybe later on I might upgrade to uh, like a Proline. Flowtech body maybe. Uh, if anyone's got any paint paint scheme ideas, feel free to comment below. Give me some ideas. Um, I'm open to all of that. So yeah, that's the that's the body. Alrighty, we have the front front. Yep, yeah, we've, we've got the front uh, suspension arm, front bumper. Uh, sidebars, uh, we've got titanium, uh, titanium turn buckles, some hardware screws. I'm not actually un opening the bags as I don't want to get everything mixed up, so I'm just going to leave everything in the bag. So that's the front suspension, carbon fiber battery battery holder. Obviously, no need to explain what that's for. Hmm, we've got the rear CVDs, more titanium, uh, turn buckles, bearings, some more blue bling bits. And, uh, okay, we've got the wheels and tyres. Now, being the factory team kit, uh, it has the front tyres are uh, standard. Associated short course tyres, but the rear tyres are J Concepts. They, with the factory tank kit, they put in some J Concepts tyres. So, and we've got body clips, more screws, bearings. So, that's got that. Got the chassis, the main part, obviously. Uh, this is actually the chassis itself is based on the Associated T4. Except it's uh, a bit longer, probably a little bit wider, I think. 
I've got a B4, so I'm not exactly sure if they're exactly the same chassis, but that's the chassis there. Okay, we've got the transmission, slipper clutch, bearings, diff housing, spur gears, uh, comes with uh, ball bearing, um, ball diff grease, and it has uh, something associated with black grease. So that's We've got shock towers. No, no, that doesn't look like a shock tower, it might be something else. But yeah, so that's the transmission. We've got some, just some minor parts, some battery clips, uh, the spur gear cover, battery foam, some more screws. So yeah. Okay, we've got the rear, the rear suspension arms. Oh, yeah, we've got shock towers, mud flaps, some more blue bling bits. So that's the rear section. Okay, okay we've got the shocks, shock springs. Comes with 30 weight oil, shock pistons, shock bodies, obviously. So that's all you, that's the bag for the shocks. Now we've got some, looks like a front uh, suspension mounting area, steering bulkhead, uh, servo saver, more blue bling bits, wheel nuts, essential bits. Now, here we have the, it's a basic tool set. Um, you got Big bit here is the camber gauge. You got part of your shock building tools. Uh, this is also acts as your for removing wheel nuts, some other nut removers. Um, this helps build the inner part of the shocks. Now, one thing I'm going to mention here is it does come with some Allen keys. In here, you can't really see it do well on the camera. Um, now, I'll be honest with you. You can build the kit with these. Um, I prefer I prefer not to, but because in my experience, I've found these the the Allen keys that they supply to be rubbish. Not just associated, but any other kit that you buy that has out that requires an Allen key. Um, these are rubbish. I personally am just going to get these and chuck them. But I mean, if you don't have a proper Allen key set, you, you can use them, but you're going to get sore fingers and thumbs from trying to turn it and there are going to be some holes that the screws have to go into are going to be very tight and you'll wish that you bought a proper tool set um, but also bear in mind that this is team associated um, I do have a RC8T factory team truggy um, the hardware screws and hardware in that are metric but with associated uh, 99.99% of their kits, their one tenth scale kits are in the imperial measurement. So you will need to get, if you want to get a good tool set, get a an imperial hex tool set. Um, so yeah, I, I personally am just going to get those Allen keys and just chuck them in the bin. They're rubbish. Okay, here we have your instruction manual. You'll need this, obviously, um, when you've finished building the kit keep it I mean for those who are a seasoned builder like myself I mean yeah that's a that's a no-brainer keep it um, but if, even if you buy a ready-to-run car keep the instruction manual because it'll have all the part numbers and so forth so if you break a suspension arm well then you'll you'll need to have your instruction manual or the owner's manual with you to look up the part number so, but this is this is obviously a being kit. It's a step by step instruction manual. Then, last but not least, you have can't very see it too well because of the light and the camera. Here you have your um, masking sheet for the windows. Got some double sided tape and your decal or decal sheet for uh, finishing off the body. So this. This is just the unboxing. Um, 
I will start building it soon. So part two will be coming up shortly. Not sure exactly how shortly, but so this is just the box unboxing, having with the parts and the kit contents. And stay tuned for part two.